Hi human beings, the renderer here for a new tutorial about my new free preset, Grunge Maker. I made Grunge Maker when I was trying to give a grungy look to text. I didn't want to use a lot of layers, texture and whatnot, so I tried to find a way to create this effect procedurally and only with the effects in After Effects. First, download it on my website in the freebie section and unzip it. Copy and paste the, the renderer folder in the right directory and open your After Effects project. To find Grunge Maker, just type in the effect and presets window TW and a space for the renderer or Grunge Maker. It's best to apply Grunge Maker directly on your shape or text layer. The color parameter allows you to change the overall color of your layer. The outer grunge feature creates a grungy outline. You can change its type to get a different look. You have standard, dirt, stains, scratches, and blocks. You can change the width of the outline or its spacing, its intensity, its scale, and so on. With wetness, you can add a feather effect to it. And with turbulence, you can distort the outline. Inner grunge is just like outer grunge, except it will add a grungy texture inside your layer. Inside the noise section, you'll find two kinds of noises. The inside noise adds a noisy texture, and the edge noise distorts the edges of your shape and of the outer grunge outline. You can add a turbulent displace on top of all of the previous effects to distort the overall look. It could be horizontal and vertical, or only one of the two. Last but not least, here you have a refine alpha parameter. Sometimes you'll see when you change some settings, you'll see a gray line appearing. With refine alpha, you can correct this. One of my favorite effects with this preset, and the reason why I made this, was to fake a grungy vintage look. Let's try to do this. First, I pick an old looking font and an old looking background. Then I apply Grunge Maker. By default, it looks pretty grungy already, but it's too much. So first, let's change the outer grunge. Let's lower its width, spacing and intensity. For the inner grunge, let's change the type to dirt and lower the intensity too. Maybe I could increase the scale of the inner noise and add a little turbulence. And boom, that's it. Oh, and the cool thing is if I add a shape layer to frame this text, to give the same look to it, I just need to copy all the effects inside my text layer and paste them on the new one. I made a few other versions of this preset, animated and not animated, just to get you started. Go on and download it on my website in the freebie section. And well, feel free to tell me what you think about it. Have a great day.